All full up. Can't carry any more. Running water would be nice. I think at this point, I'd settle for no jaguars. <laughs> mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Possible. I can't carry any more. There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Got stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about it? Follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who go onto a body quick. Oh, hold up! I got him! Hold on, the friendlies. Keep your eyes Someone open. check back there. And I'll do it. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. Go left. 
I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Hey, hey. Trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. What was your mother like? You don't talk about her as much. She was creative, adventurous. I think she was probably the glue that kept us together. After her death, it was more lonely. Do you ever think about going back to New Zealand? Sometimes. Maybe not as much as Hawaii, but yeah. Both your homes are so far removed from... <laughs> Everything? <laughs> Maybe that's why I can't stop traveling. All full up. Can't carry any more. On, let's go. That did it. Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Hi. Do you 
you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby, Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, free. So, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? Yes. Yeah, a long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Oh, uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. You too. Hmm. So, are uh, you and Lara... Friends. Colleagues. She's brilliant. So, you're not... Oh. here most of my life. I got my pilot's license in Lima, but when the oil company closed and I heard what was happening here, I decided to come home. Yeah. Now that things are under control, it might be nice to travel again. You into football? It's a pretty big sport around here. <laughs> yeah, I used to play, but things have been a bit busy lately. Probably for the best. Football's okay. New here, eh? You're used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. The storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. Huh. Ah, 
Hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Pull up. Can't carry any more. This cast iron conical mold was mainly used throughout the 60s and 70s to shape small gold ingots. Its unique shape causes the gold to settle at the bottom, separating it from impurities. God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it.
This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose. enough space for that. New here, eh? We used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking a two years had been working on to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now, who is that guy anyway?
around Kuakiaku. Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Hmm. I know where to go. And who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo. But his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there, but the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense, but hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum helps her relax. I'm glad. There used to be a temple on the island over there, but all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it, too. Said we tried to trick him or something. I don't have enough space for that. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets, but I found one, I think. You have? The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another. And another. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold, taking whatever they can. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, if you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. Ah, 
I'm sorry, do I know you? Sorry, I didn't realize this was a private residence. <laughs> Gosh, we lost a lot, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I really didn't mean to. I know you didn't, but if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. All full up. Can't carry any more. This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the Condor. But we let the eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things. Thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets. But the eagle took that away as well. Traditionally woven from fabric and stuffed with reeds and grains, the burial dolls are frequently shown holding something in their hand, like a musical instrument or a ball of yarn. In this instance, the doll is holding a toddler, perhaps signifying that the deceased was a mother. But this one is made from modern materials. I suppose Paul Veneer could have made it as a promotional toy. Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh. Oh, well, still. Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming, vibrant, full of life, and so optimistic for the future. <laughs> optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there. Until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. Omar. Uh huh? They've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. Shit. No. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Just 
arrived, have you? Lucky. You missed a hell of a storm. I, uh, I had a brush with it myself. The wind played hell with the surrounding jungle. Knocked down trees, took out the power. A couple houses collapsed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Unless you control the weather. <laughs> You should talk to Abigail. She insists on meeting all the newcomers. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Ah, that's our Abigail. Always ready to fix a generator or stop an argument. She's our de facto mayor, unofficial general store owner, half of the volunteer fire department. And trust me, you don't want to get into a fist fight with her. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Ah... Uh... Okay, well, um, good luck with everything. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. enough space for that. Full up. Can't carry any more.
This is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Poor Veneer on the base of it. All full up. Can't carry any more. quite make the dialect out. Space for that. <laughs> All full up, can't carry any more. All full up, can't carry any more.
impossible. I can't carry any more. Full up. Can't carry any more. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. I don't have enough space for that. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Mm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it, so they all came to protect it too. All full up. Can't carry any more. This is a dedication.
all full up. Can't carry any more. Someone has barricaded the path. Possible. I can't carry any more. Looks like the bridge is out. This room has fared better than the rest of the cavern, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> 